Hello, I'm Jordan Guth. Some of you may recognize my voice from the Soundstage Audio File podcast. I'm the host for season two. Today, I'm going to tell you what's new on the Soundstage Network of Sites for December 1st. Before we jump into what's new, I wanted to share a quick photo provided by Jeff T. from Colorado. He's the winner of the Martin Logan Foundation B2 speakers that we drew for last month. Check out this awesome setup. And if you want to get your name entered into future draws, you just have to sign up for our newsletter by typing www.soundstagen.com into your browser. Over on Soundstage Australia, editor Edgar Kramer explores the functional synergies and performance capabilities of yet another Greek company, Audion Audio, and its three-box digital playback combo, the EOSTREAM, EOSTIME, and EOSDAC, which features a number of bespoke proprietary technologies. Plus, in the next few days, watch out for our Soundstage Talks Australia on our YouTube channel, where Edgar Kramer interviews Lynn CEO Gildan Tiffenbrunn to discuss the new Lynn Sodak LP1250 anniversary turntable, including how Tiffenbrunn met designer Sir Johnny Ive. Also, there will be a two-part talks episode with Edgar Kramer discussing Yamaha's true sound philosophy with the people behind the company's 5000 flagship series. On Soundstage Global, we have a new feature by Jason Thorpe on sharing his passion for audio with fellow audio enthusiasts, who, conveniently, are his neighbors in the Toronto townhouse development where he lives. To date, first-rate hi-fi systems are spread across all of their houses, so this is the first installment of many as the group shares their thoughts through Jason's writing. On Soundstage Ultra, Hans Wetzel reviews the compact Evolution 1 TX 3 way stand mount loudspeaker from Tokyo-based Technical Audio Devices Laboratory, aka TAD. Han says these gorgeous TAD speakers, utterly natural, high-resolution sound, unfailingly won me over each time I sat down to enjoy their company. In his monthly editorial, senior editor Jason Thorpe describes all the fun he's having using Rune Music Management software in his new digital front end on his reference system. For his Recording the Month feature, Joseph Taylor reviews Roll the Tape by the Adam Deech Quartet. On Soundstage Access, Senior editor Dennis Berger reviews Macintosh Laboratories MHT300 audio video receiver. The MHT300 isn't trying to be an all singing, all dancing Swiss Army knife of AVRs, Dennis writes. What it does have is that Macintosh styling, build quality, and user experience combined with the sort of 800 pound gorilla esque performance you don't necessarily expect in a receiver boasting only seven amplified channels of output. In a fascinating editorial, Dennis discusses a fan remastered version of Taylor Swift's new 1989, Taylor's version, that's circulating on the internet. Dennis says these fans care passionately about every ounce of sonic minutia baked into Swift's music, good or bad. And to be honest with you, they're discussing it all at a technical level that is probably over the head of most of the old guard audiophile press. On Soundstage Hi-Fi, Doug Schneider has an extensive review of the gorgeous Sim Audio Moon North Collection 791 streaming preamplifier, which features a state-of-the-art DAC, phono stage, and rune-ready network streamer. The same component is the subject of Doug's monthly editorial. Because he wanted to draw readers' attention to its superb measured and subjective performance, which Doug believes renders many less feature-rich stereo analog preamplifiers in its price range less relevant, if not obsolete. On Soundstage Simplify, Gordon Brockhouse addresses an interesting question. With stream becoming so prevalent, do LPs and CDs have a role in simplified hi-fi? They do indeed, Gordon concludes, and he describes several components that let listeners integrate physical media into convenient, lifestyle-oriented hi-fi. This month on Soundstage Experience, music editor Joseph Taylor lists 11 of his all-time favorite holiday albums. For his Art Plus Tech column, James Hale listens to Herbie Nicholas Trio, one of the latest releases from Joe Tone Poet Harley in Blue Note Records through Triangle's Borea BR03BT powered loudspeaker system. On Soundstage Solo, senior editor Jeffrey Morrison reviews Beat Studio Buds Plus True Wireless Earphones. These are some great True Wireless Earphones at a surprisingly reasonable price for an Apple product, Jeffrey concludes. In his latest feature, Jeffrey discusses plasma acoustic metal layers, an emerging technology that could lead to a huge improvement in the ability of earphones to block out external noise. That's everything, but I wanted to remind you to check out soundstage.com to find all the new article links. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, we're at youtube.com slash soundstage network. We have new videos posted every few days. And if you want to hear more from me, check out the Soundstage Audiophile podcast. We have a new episode every two weeks. 
Thanks for watching, and see you on December 15th for a slightly different update, our 2023 awards for product of the year with a very special guest.